Yeah, yeah, okay. Be. He's supposed yeah. to pay. Yeah. That's you're what so, I told uh, but you're supposed to have sex with him whenever he says. No. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here to the video, guys. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Who Pays on a First Date by Matthew. Okay, this is going to be amazing. I would love to check this video out for you guys. So let's get right into it. Let's have one more question. We had this person at the back in the stripes. Um, yeah, let's hear from you. Um, during the dating period, you know, after like four or five months of dating, um, I just wondering at what point does it get, do you have to pay, did the woman have to pay when they go out? The guy is asking that I should, there should be half and half at that point when you already... Oh. At what point? When you already been dating for four or five months. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay, uh, to, to give you a quick answer on, firstly, I think we should just deal with the who should pay thing to begin with. Who, when you're on a date, who should pay? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I mean, that's what I told them, you know, I'm sorry. But, I say, I'm, you da I'm dating, we're dating. You but know, here's the... the gentleman here. Yeah, here, okay. He's supposed to pay. Yeah, that's you're what I told him. I, But you're supposed to have sex with him whenever he says. No. <laughs> whenever Walt what's, wanted, where, right? where, where, But what's the, where does this double standard come from? That is it. I'm sorry. It's the reality. You guys can, you, can, you can moan at it all you want, but the moment you say to a guy, you have to fucking pay for my time, you're saying this relationship isn't equal. Mm. This relationship isn't equal. My time Fast. is worth more than yours, so you should pay for it. I wonder what paradigm that sets up. Here's my view. If you go on a date with a guy and you don't offer to pay your share, you weren't taught right. If you go on a date and he doesn't pay, he wasn't taught right. Hmm. I can tell you right now, if I was dating someone and they never offered to pay, I wouldn't be dating them. I can tell you that now. If they never offered to pay, I would not be dating them because I'd say, this is the most polite they're ever going to be. And they're not even trying to pay now. Um, <laughs> what does that say about my future? Mm. But I, I look, I, this, let me come at this from a different angle. I would... I would be treating, I will always treat my partner how I would treat my best friend. And I wouldn't apply a different standard to my partner than my best friend. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't say to my best friend, let's always go out to dinner and, and you always pay. Hmm. I'd say, let's be teammates here in whatever way we can. And maybe, by the way, proportionately, what you can do is less than what he can do. That's a different thing. If he says to you, I want to go stay at the top hotel in Big Sur this weekend, and it's 1,500 bucks a night, and you say, I, can't, I don't have the money. It's his job to say, it doesn't matter. I didn't do it so you could pay. I did it because I want to go, and I want to take you. Mm. Great. That's what that is. True. Right? Or if you both agree to go on holiday, and you have a fifth of his earning potential, you say, I want to contribute to a fifth of this holiday. It's overly simplistic, but you get what I'm saying, right? I will contribute on the level I can contribute. Let me tell you what means something to a guy. Trying. That means something to a guy. When he feels that you're not even trying to contribute, Just that's when he him. feels used. Because yeah. any guy who's really confident and self-respecting if the woman never is even trying to contribute, he feels like uh, he's being taken advantage of. Mm. And it has nothing to do with money. It has to do with the lack of gesture. <laughs> Thank you. So I would be looking at, if you like this guy, maybe you, if you're in different positions, figure out what you want to contribute proportionately or what you can contribute pro proportionately and treat him as you would your best friend. Simple. Okay, I <laughs> I love this video. It's as simple as that. Like, I keep on saying this every time. Like, two people. <laughs> like, it's, a, it's as simple as that. You don't have to be money gestures. You have to try to show efforts. Like, you are doing something to create impact. You're also trying in the relationship. You're also doing something that 
We are bringing something to the table. That's what we keep on using now. You bring something to the table. It don't have to be like material, like financial, like money. It can be an idea. It can also assist in maybe cooking. It can be something that you be like, wow. I was actually doing this before, but now she's trying to help me do this. Efforts. You are trying to do something for your next partner. Either you being on the first date or second date or the third date, fourth. Put that effort that you want. You are serious about the relationship itself. Don't be like, he should do this. He should open the car for me. He should pay on the first date. It's my time. So he have to cater for me. Then if the guy say, let's go have sex at this time. He he has the right to say that because right now he has been doing everything he wants. Now he wants to do exactly what he wants. Most girls are the ones who are creating such men sometimes. Don't get me wrong. Because if you put effort, like this relationship, let me see how it goes. Okay, this date, let me see how it goes. We are just starting to know each other. You get to restaurants, you be like, oh, this is a very classy place. Can I assist in the bills? He said, no, keep it aside. Then the guy pays. The guy knows in his heart, in his mind, that, oh, she's making efforts. This really means a lot to her. This is our date, our time of knowing each other means a lot to her. It's an effort. You get that. Then, don't you guys already know each other? Maybe you get him things, or you call him at some awkward moments at some time, and I'll be like, how are you doing? Now? Just, the guy knows you are putting efforts in the relationship. He knows you are trying. Then he wants to go more further with you because he sees you that is someone that is has vision in the relationship. You are assisting him in, in anything possibly, maybe by helping him in his business strategy when he's thinking about his business, probably you're helping him also cook. He don't have to put the ring. Every, every girl or so women are saying she put the ring on the finger before you can do some domestic chores, before you can do some other things, before you can make the relationship more serious. You are putting yourself in a scenario that will one day backfire against you. Because once the guy, as a man, me, I'm put, talking for my own self, my own, how I see ladies, how I start to get take them serious in a in relationship. Once you don't put efforts in a relationship, I back out. It's as simple as that. I back out. Because I know you are not interested in a, in a relationship. Your expectation in your mind that you want me to do will only happen when I know you are serious about our relationship together. Simple as that. You don't expect him to do some certain things for you because you feel like, oh, men should do that. No, I know what I'm supposed to do as a man. But if you're not adding any efforts to, for, to, for you to show me that you are serious about this relationship, we both of us are about to enter, I back out. It's as simple as that. I don't have to stress myself. I don't have to please you every time to sh prove to you that I am serious about this relationship. Whereas you're not sh showing me the gestures back in return that you're serious about this relationship. I back out. I love how he explained it, how he gives you get fat about if as a girl, you're not having an interest like, let me assist you in paying for the, the bill. You are not trained right. If as a guy, you take a girl on the, the, on the date and you know, you don't want to pay for the, for the bills, for, for what you guys have ordered, for your food and drinks, what you guys have ordered already, you don't want to pay. You are not trained right too. You have to show the agent when you have to treat her way nice. But at the same time, she has to put in effort. Treat him, <laughs> treat him or treat her the way you treat your best friend. It's as simple as that. But the effort itself is very, very important. It's very important. The guy just spoke my mind. And I respect him for that. And this is a very beautiful conversation. I love how <laughs> everyone responds to it. The audience were like, wow. This is beautiful. He actually humbled the entire women right there. Every single one of them, he humbled them. He spoke the every man's mind. This he spoke my mind. I know a lot of couple of men will feel the same way. That's that's simple as that. Comment down below, think about our video, give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all